Hello and welcome to the Physio channel. In this video, I want to have a look at something which I've identified as the sciatica muscle weakness paradox. Now, predicting the likely outcome of lumbar radiculopathy is difficult, even when you use the latest scientific evidence. The following factors have been identified that may increase your chances of a positive outcome within the first year of onset of sciatica. These include a low to moderate levels of reported leg pain, lower age, higher education, working full time, having fewer secondary symptoms like back pain, fatigue and sleep difficulties. And one especially strong predictor was the positive expectancy of recovery and minimal pain avoidance behaviours. Now what was interesting, and this is the paradox, was that patients with initial muscle weakness actually showed better outcomes when compared to those patients without associated muscle weakness. This could be due to the following reasons. About 90% of lumbar radiculopathy is caused by a disc bulge. And because disc bulges usually spontaneously recover, you can expect the muscle strength to also resolve. Psychologically, because the muscle weakness is less prone to the central changes associated with leg pain, and because it's predominantly an objective sign, then the clear return of muscle power will demonstrate an objective measure of recovery for the patient and increase their likelihood of a positive outcome expectancy, which can have a huge impact on their pain processing. So how can this information help you and how can it help your patients? We can start by informing the patient that around three quarters of patients with sciatica experience a full recovery in three months. While you can certainly find less positive outcome research, the aim here is to create a positive outcome expectation which in itself would help to create more patients with positive outcomes. When it comes to manual therapy and interventions for sciatica, remember that another factor that can determine the outcome was the associated symptoms, many of which can be alleviated with manual therapy. Back pain, stiff joints and muscle tension can all worsen the experience of sciatica and therefore reducing and managing the symptoms may not magic away the direct nerve related pain but it can help to promote an earlier recovery and increase general comfort. Again, as long as the patient doesn't expect a lumbar mobilization miracle and they understand the treatment approach, then this is a viable use of manual therapy, in my opinion. Now, this is part of a longer presentation that I'll link to below should you wish to learn more about managing sciatica as a manual therapist. Let us know your opinion in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.